uh, was it men going their own way, yep. getting popular because of those ugly thoughts? Well, there's no no other option really. I, I, I am sympathetic to the the plight of the sort of MGTOW and men's rights sphere. I'm very sympathetic to it because I mean the 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 deck is stacked against you. But I mean, you have this. Do you not think the MGTOW? Because I know you're sort of like the the cat women need to get out there. Do you not have the similar thing with the MGTOW? Like, no, not really. The MGTOW, a lot. It seemed it seemed to me that a lot of the MGTOWs um, wanted a traditional life, but they feel that it's been denied from them, and that the the power in the relationship has been placed legally so firmly in the hands of the woman that the man is essentially at her mercy, and these guys don't want to be at someone else's mercy. It's not fair. And it isn't fair. You know, the, they're not being treated as if they're bringing anything to the relationship. It's being treated as if they're there to take money from yeah. and to take labor from. And it's like, that's not fair. So I the, totally understand why they would opt out. The, the men's rights movement, the you know the conferences you've gone yeah. to and whatnot. One of the things I noticed is like it's disproportionately older men yeah. who have just been, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, the, 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 the leftists would be, oh, this is the incel movement. No, 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 no. This is this is the ex-husband movement. Yeah. These, this is the Al Bundy movement, you know, where they they feel like they've been on the raw end of it. 